Over hundreds of years, man began to take a close, systematic approach to the forces which have shaped our Earth. The geologists, scientists who study the Earth and all of its forces and landforms, observed that the processes are slow, but ever-present. They have concluded that these processes are going on each and every day at a very slow pace, and that what is occurring today probably has been going on continually from the very beginning of the Earth. They call this the principle of uniformitarianism, which states that the present is the key to the past. And it is the basic principle which underlies the science of geology and allows us to study the processes of various forces which have shaped our Earth. If you were to travel to America's desert region in the southwest part of the United States, you would see a vast area of land. Few people live in this area because of the rugged terrain and hostile climate. If you were to fly over the deeply carved canyons, you might wonder how all of this could have taken place. Why these colorful cliffs of stone? And why here and not elsewhere? You might wonder how man was able to make any sense out of what looks like chaos and disorder. But we must go back to our first principle, that the present is the key to the past. Let us observe some of the forces which are at work today, and then we can get a better idea of how these forces, working over vast periods of time, have had a profound effect on the surface of the Earth. Among those forces which we will take a close look during this program includes the work of glaciers, massive moving mountains of ice, which carve and gouge the land surface underneath. We shall also take a look at the result of volcanoes acting on the Earth's surface. Other forces we shall investigate include the work of the wind, the work of running water, earthquakes, landslides, oceans and shoreline features, and the mountain building process.